Okay, it's May 2010 and the weather is gorgeous. This is really our first decent day and I'm here on a field that has produced stuff every year. Really has done well, especially with the E-Track. Okay, now it is rough plowed, so it's gonna be really, really hard to actually search, but it's still worth it because this is such a good field. Now, as you can see, the field behind us has been plowed uneven. And what you can see is the subsoil has been dragged up by the plow. Now, I've never seen this happen before, so I'm expecting some really, really good finds to come up. Anyway, I'll switch the camera back on and film anything as I find it. Right, now I'm going to try to show you the settings I'm using. Um, as you can see, I'm using the tadpole, which is basically the bottom right hand corner is blanked out and then I've stuck a single line along the very bottom here. Recovery deep is on, um, recovery fast is off and trash density is high. Okay, ground difficult, um, noise cancel, now I've set that, that should be set at number two actually it's not, it's on number three, so I've, I'll change it to number two. Okay, and that's that. Let's go back. Now we're going to go on to the ordinary main settings. I um, can't really see my screen particularly well here. Um, threshold level is set at 17. Volume limit is 30. Volume gain is 30. The response is smooth, which is very important. Um, target ID, uh, number of tones multi, sounds conduct, variability 30, and limits 30. Okay, there's my first signal. I must admit, it does sound like it's going to be a piece of lead. Pretty sure it'll be on the surface. back to a good technique I think. Let's move it out the hole first of all. I thought it was on the surface but uh, it obviously isn't. It's obviously a lot deeper. Let's hop on the heat now. in my hand. And again I need three hands. Ah, there it is. Oh, it looks like silver but it's not. It's just a button. Not great. But there you go, that's the first signal of the day. Right, this is a screamer. 10.43, high pitch, but you hear how smooth that is. Now, if I swing around here, you'll see there's lots of bits of iron, but, but these are all, all bits of, short bits of iron. Short, short, choppy interference, whereas the high pitch stuff in smooth is beautiful. Okay, it's out of the hole. So I lay the head so it lays absolutely flat, stop the interference. Again, the det detector's picking the camera up. Okay, there we go. First coin. 
and it's a Roman. I won't rub it too much. It's definitely a Roman, a Roman coin. It's a pronounced head. It's a. I can't work out what that is, but uh, we'll clean it up later. And it looks like it's um, a reasonable condition. Okay, here's another one, another high pitch one. Ah, there it is. Looks like another Roman coin. That one must have been laying on the surface. Yeah, you can see there's the deity on one side. I won't, I won't rub it too much. And there you go, there's the, I can't quite work it out. You might be able to work it out actually. There you go, okay, that's the second Roman coin. And that was literally on the surface. I'm quite surprised that these are nice high pitched screamers. You have a listen. So that's nice. Right, here's signal four. It's quite an interesting one because as you hear, there's a low tone. There's a low tone just there. Okay, but first of all, I heard a high tone from this way. Which probably, do you hear that? But that's iron. Okay, that's that's the first real sort of tricky one. But as you can tell, it's it's not smooth. It's it's smooth one way, but then it's choppy. Now that is definitely going to be iron. Okay, but that one there isn't. So, so let's, uh, let's stick that one up. That one's a, a lowish tone, not very deep. So it's 1705, 2304. Let's let it focus. I've got this on autofocus to try to cope with all this one handed use. <laughs> Still need three hands. There it is there. And it is a small piece of lead by the look of it. Trying to make it get a coin out of it, but it's not gonna be. It's rough on one side. As you can see, and smooth on the other side. No, nope, that's a piece of rubbish. Well, I had to get a bit of rubbish eventually. Right, we've got a nice smooth middle tone here. This is coming in 0914. 1414. Typically the wind has started up, so I hope you're not getting too much wind noise. Beautiful sound and signal. So let's see if I can kick it out. Then. So I didn't need a spade for that one. Ah, there it is. Piece of lead. Sounded a lot better than a piece of lead. But never mind. It's a big piece, so you can see that um, this... Uh, latest ploughing this is pretty much being done to death this corner of the field but the ploughing is bringing up big lumps like this so i've got high hopes for something really special in a minute i know you're probably looking at the roman coins and thinking they're special but um there's there's the potential of a nice gold coin come off here okay i've been walking down this ridge that's been ploughed 
and I've got another nice high pitch. It's a really nice high pitch signal there. This is coming in uh, 12.37. So there should be a big lump of copper, a piece of copper coin or something. Lay down in the ridge, lay the head down flat to try to stop some of the noise. Mm. Ah. Okay, I can see it now. It's a bit of a clod shot here. You can see there's something sticking out of the edge there. It looks like a Roman coin again. Break it one handed. Yeah, sure enough, it's a small Roman coin. Or it could be a button if there's a loop on the other side, but there's no loop, so another Roman coin. It's odd, they've, they're all giving high pitched screams down this bottom end of this field. That's not a very good one, that one. More a disc than a coin. But uh, once I treat it with a, a bit of Renaissance wax, you never know, we might get some detail on it. Now this is an interesting signal, it's coming in right in the middle of the screen, 12.25. Now this is where we've had bronze units give similar signals to this, as you, nice and smooth as you can hear. I really think this is the best way of using the e-track is to have multi-tones and smooth signals in conduct. I mean there's just no way you can miss that. Alright, let's dig it up and see what it is. It's out of the hole in one. It's always good to do that. Okay. In my hand. In that lump. See if there's anything obvious sticking out of it. Yeah, it looks like a stone with some soil on it. Still in the lump. it dropped out. Alright, move everything away. Well, I thought it's just laying there on the surface but for the life of me I can't see it. see there's uh, something sticking out of that lump and I'm sure it'll be another Roman coin which it is not a Celtic in at this time I don't think it is anyway. no it's just another grotty Roman Maximus Grotticus Have a nice high pitch one. Now this is coming in an odd signal. Twelve thirty-five. So it's a good signal. I'm going to try to excavate with my feet because. Uh, <laughs> I haven't managed to grow an extra. Oh, I can see it. Right, you can see the edge of that coin just down there. Okay, can you see it? Now, is it a Roman? Or is it predecessor? 
it looks predestinal to me, and it sure enough is. Yes, it's a modern half penny. Nice green patina though. It's something you don't see nowadays very often. Uh, I think it's with all the chemicals that go onto these fields, they tend to come out all powdery, but that's a nice glassy patina. Uh, 19, is it 1912? Mm, can't quite see. Okay, so it's a modern one. Not Celtic at all. Okay, this is a very low tone, very thin section find. Now normally a lot of people uh, don't actually dig these, uh, but I found in the past that, you know, no matter how thick sink is, it could be really, really interesting. Now I've dug a signal that sounded just like this at the Glenford Rally that turned out to be a gold ring set with an amethyst. So I'm going to dig it. It's probably going to be a small, thin piece of lead. Or even silver paper, but it's going to be dug. It's not very deep, so hopefully I can grope around in the mud and find it. Okay, it's in my hand. Okay, that's, that'll be it. Okay, and it is a very thin piece of lead. Okay, here's another nice signal. Okay, it's coming in at 12.14, 11.15, round about that sort of round about that. Okay, I can see it here. It's another coin. It's another Roman coin. Yep, another Roman coin. So there's a lot of Roman coins coming out. Hopefully I'm going to find something a bit, uh, a bit better. You can just see the Roman soldier on that side. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, that one came out of that hole there, where I kick, you saw me kick it out, and just there, there's a screamer again. Now, every one of these screamers so far have been copper coins, so I suspect this again is going to be a copper coin. Probably Roman, because it's Roman that have come from this area today. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, it is a Roman coin. Better than that last one. Don't clean it too much. Just rub it gently. There you go. Another Roman coin. Oh, well, let's rub it. Let's rub it a bit harder. Okay, you can just about work it out. Yeah. Here we are, about half an hour into our hunt, and uh, got a nice signal here. Going in at uh, 14.25, round about there. Now, obviously, they should, if it's, if it's non ferrous metal, it should be coming in on the 12 band, but um, remember the mineralization will change that slightly. Okay, that's 11.25. Which is a good signal. That should, or could be, a nice coin. Let's try a bit more foot excavation. Excavating. Yet again, it's worked well. Okay. In my hand.
Right, and there it's in that lump, and you can just see the edge of the coin. It's definitely a coin or a button. It's round, whatever it is. So let's just scrape it all off. It's not going to be a Celtic coin, unfortunately. It's another Roman. Okay, there was little rabbits been digging around here. I don't know if you can see that. And um, a nice signal just behind the rabbit hole here. So let's try a little scrape. I think it's a bit deeper than the spoil from the rabbit hole, so it wasn't the rabbit disturbing it. Nice high pitch scream. 1233 solid. This again should be a coin. As you can see, I still haven't grown my extra arm. I have to dig that one up. action filming this. <laughs> right, smack in the middle of the hole. It's a piece of iron. Just there. Alright, just there. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh. What's this? It's not a coin. I'm not sure what it is actually. I think I recognise it, but I can't place it. sure what that is. Looks old. I think I'd better post that one up on UK DFD and try to get an identification that way. Strange. Well, that's the first decent artifact. Okay, been here for about an hour and a half and here's the first Celt. Uh, sun's gone in at the moment, so it's a bit annoying. Um, I got that the right way up. Yeah, there it is, a little bronze unit. It's got a, I think it's a, possibly a bull on one side, yeah. and a head on the other side. I've been joined by Ed. I've been joined by Ed. He says he's got a kelp. He hasn't dug it up yet. <laughs> this is this is Ed, my detecting partner. Just finished work. I'll pull your headphones out. Let's have a listen then. Yeah, he didn't hear that. He's got his headphones on. Right. I said, pull your headphones out. Let's have a listen to the signal. Too late now. Scoop it out for a bit. Every year there's a few bronzes come from this area. Just, just found that one, and let's see if there's another one here. It's about time we've had a, we haven't had a gold stater from this area yet. They've got to be here. So one of these years, one's going to come up because we've had so many bronzes and silver units. It's about time we had a gold one.
I'm making a meal of this. A bit like me earlier on when I was using, uh, I needed an extra hand. No, I was... it's got to be out now. I can just about, earlier, I can just about hear that. That sounds ever so nice. Yeah. Uh, Ed is using a SC with a slimline coil. It's smaller. It's, uh, it's a bronze coin. And it is a kelp, yeah. You can see it already, you can see it's domed. There, there's another one. So that's two. Can you see what's on it? It's one of those big heads, isn't it? Uh, see, sort of base it. Yeah, stick it on there. Let's have this look. Yeah, it's one of those. Is it one of the wild faces ones? That was that was more dish than mine. Definitely cow. Yeah. Mark, All right. So, uh, well done. Alright, this is a uh, low tone 918 and probably my last uh, last signal of the day. It's 8 o'clock in the evening now and I'm getting hungry and it's starting to get dark. It's another Roman coin. Had lots of Roman coins today, and I think I've got I think I've got three Celtic coins here. Um, obviously, Ed had an input on those. Ed's now gone. Uh, he did have a really nice silver denarius of Hadrian. But that's it. That's for it for tonight. It's um, as I say, it's getting dark. Uh, sun's going in, well, the sun's gone in, so uh, that's it for today, and um, I'll, when I post this up, I'll show you all the finds that, um, that I've found. I estimate I've had about 30 Roman coins. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm back home, and here are the actual finds. There's uh, four Celtic. Celtic. I'm pretty sure that that one's Celtic as well. I'm going to clean those ones up and I'll, again I'll show you once they're all cleaned up and perfect. Um, quite a few Roman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 Roman. Um, most of the other stuff is your normal dross, bits of lead, uh, not that much lead. I did, did throw a few of the small bits um, away as I found them, which I shouldn't do really. But there you go, the day's detecting on one of my better sites. So I'll clean them up and I'll, I'll film them again if there's anything nice in there. Uh, I don't think the Roman are going to be particularly good, but the Celts, the Celts, that's what we were there for, and they're good.